What's going on guys, Bataha here. In this video, we're gonna show you how to fix the surging idle on a Honda mower. First thing you wanna do is take off this cover. And then here's the air filter. Sometimes what'll happen is this will just get clogged with grass or dirt. I, I recommend blowing it out. And that could be your problem just right there if it's got a lot of grass and stuff in there. But most likely what the problem is, is gonna be the carburetor. So you're gonna take a wrench and there's two bolts right here 10 millimeter and once you undo those the whole carb assembly is gonna drop down and as everything kind of comes apart you're gonna want to keep an eye on where your gaskets are because this can get confusing I'll go over this again later in the video all right next you can go ahead and turn the gas off right here uh, for the linkages, take out the spring right here. Just turn the carburetor a little bit and then put it at an angle. And those can stay there. But let's go ahead and take a look at this carburetor. Uh, this is the front side right here, closest to the air filter. And you can already see a bunch of dirt in there. There's like a bunch of gunk at the back of it. It's gonna be hard to see it on camera, but you can see there's so much dirt in there, so that's gonna be our main problem. That's gonna be a 10 millimeter on the bottom of this carburetor that holds the bowl. So just undo that, and then gas is gonna go start leaking out. So once you get that off, if it doesn't wanna come off, you can tap it with the mallet. All right, now get your air compressor. Go ahead and blow this thing off. Now get yourself some brake cleaner. Now get a screwdriver and unscrew the jet that's in this hole right here. And sometimes what will happen is it'll get stuck when it's about to come out. All you gotta do is tap the side of the carburetor with that screwdriver and it'll come out. And don't forget the other tube that's in there. Shoot some brake cleaner down that hole. And then you're gonna wanna blow out everything. To put everything back together, this tube, you got a short side and a long side. The longer side goes in the carburetor first, and then put the jet back on top, and you're going to want to screw this in. But do not screw this in super tight, you just want to go until it stops. You can see in there, spotless. Thread that back into the bottom. Tighten it up. And your carburetor is now clean. So my, this gasket right here is, it's still stuck on there. But that goes in between there and this right here. So you're going to have to push this up against here. And that's what automatically auto chokes it. It's pushing up against this little thing right there. Which hits that and then it. So before you do all this, I highly recommend connecting your linkages back to the car, right? Or else you're going to put this whole thing on and then your linkages are going to be over there. And then you're like, oh crap. Oh shoot. And if your spring falls out like mine just did. So you have the linkage right here, which is above the spring on this arm right there. So the spring just goes under the linkage in that little hole. So back on the carburetor, your linkage goes in the furthest hole and then the spring goes in the closest hole. Maybe that's a better angle right there. Linkage right there, spring above that. This is going to be the real tricky part. Gasket right here, your auto choke. Then another gasket right here, the back of the carburetor, front of the carburetor, then a gasket here, and then your air box. While you're at it, you might as well connect the fuel line back on, because once you get the air box on, it's going to be hard to do that. Stick your bolts through. We got the gasket right there. Put this up to the carburetor. The next gasket's going on. Then your auto choke. Make sure that's facing the right way. So now hold this up against, go ahead and get your bolts threaded in. Well that's still loose, reach in the back, connect the breather, and then slowly 
tighten these up. Turn your fill back on. Alright guys, we just let that thing run for five minutes, no surging or anything. That's a good fix for these Honda engines. Uh, but yeah guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm Bataha. We'll see y'all in the next one.